Hi, it's Daisy. I wasn't exactly sure what to do in this video, and then while I was at the store, I found this cute little cookie decorating kit, and I thought this, that it would be fun to decorate cookies. So let's get started. So I've opened it up, and it says that there are 12 cookies inside that have to do with the spring. So we've got some little butterflies. Some ladybugs, some little birdies, and some flowers. So that's the kind, the designs of the cookies. And then to decorate with, they gave us, they gave me three different colors of icing: red, white, and black for designs. They gave me some of these kind of sprinkles which are the best in my opinion it's so hard to find just regular sprinkles like this you always get them mixed up with this kind which while they're good on other things turn into like a wax consistency when you eat them by yourself and so they're not that great eating them by themselves whereas these are the best in my opinion and oh they gave us a, another a yellow icing i forgot that one i missed that one and then just some little hard candies. So I got some paper plates to decorate them on. I've got a tray over here to put the finished ones on and some paper towels. I guess we will start with a butterfly. Let's start with a butterfly. Now I'm gonna take the black icing and the bu butterfly and I'm going to just make an outline around his body. Like that. I'm gonna fill it in with the white icing and just put some of these sprinkles on the top. I know it's been a little while since my last video. I think my last video was on Easter. Um, I've just been chilling, hanging, trying to think of what to do for the next video. And it's actually harder than you think to come up with an idea for another for a new video, like all the time. Like I said, I had no idea what to do for my next video until I found this cookie decorating thing. So, this is kind of a spur of the moment, but it looked fun. Ta-da! There's the first cookie. I'll set that on the tray over here. I think we'll do a, a ladybug next. So, like I said, the li life of a fairy is really not, there's really not a lot to do because we pretty much do the same things every day. So, at home, I just kind of relax. I do a lot of reading, but I'm not exactly sure what to talk about today. How have you been? How, have, how has your life been since the last video I made? Anything exciting happened to you? So, I think Mother's Day is coming up. Or, by the time this video is out, Mother's Day will have already passed. But... As of today, Mother's Day hasn't passed, and Mother's Day isn't really something that I we celebrate in the fairy world. Didn't even know that it existed until we came here. But now that I know that it does exist, I'm planning on surprising my mom with Mother's Day. <laughs> Don't exactly know what I'm gonna do, but I know that I'm gonna tell her that in the human world, there is an entire day dedicated to honoring your mother. And I think for somebody who didn't even know that Mother's Day existed in the first place, to find out that there is an, an entire day dedicated to a mom, that'll be an interesting surprise for her. That'll be a nice surprise for her. So maybe I'll take her out and go explore some ruins and some caves and stuff that we haven't explored before. Because that's the thing about the ocean. You can swim in it. You can live in it and swim for months and months and years and centuries and still not have explored everything. And part of that is it's dangerous. Part of that is because the ocean is just so dangerous that you really don't need to explore everywhere. Um, it would be too dangerous just to go out and explore. I'm sure there's plenty of safe places that we haven't explored yet. So I'm probably just going to take my mom out and see what we can find. 
So here is one of the, the first ladybug cookie. I don't really know what I did. I just stuck icing and sprinkles all over it. So we'll do a chicken next. I mean, it's chicken. I guess it could be a, a different kind of bird, but I'm gonna make this first one a chicken. I know that there is a Father's Day too, but I think that's in June. So I'll have to start thinking of something fun to do with my dad. The thing is, my parents don't exactly like to come to the human world, so everything that I think of will have to be done in the fairy world. But that shouldn't be a problem. I mean, the fairy world is still plenty big to come up with all sorts of kind of stuff. So I have plenty of time to think about what to do for my dad for Father's Day. I wonder if I could talk my sisters into helping me. I mean, obviously they can't help with Mother's Day. One, we have a different, we have different moms. I told you my sisters are, my sisters are pixies. So they have a different mom than I do. My mom is a mermaid. Their mom was a pixie. And therefore they can't exactly come explore the ocean with us. But I'm sure we can all figure out something to do for Father's Day together. Here's the chicken. I just put sprinkles all over it. I really have no idea what I'm doing here, because we don't really, I mean, you have people who decorate pastries in the fairy world, they're, you know, that's their job, but I don't, I've never done it, so I really have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just having fun. So I'm going to do a flower next. So since this video is going to air after Mother's Day, did you guys do anything fun with your mom? And I will show you what I'm doing right now. I just put red and yellow around and then white in the middle of the petals because it kind of started looking like a, uh, you know, radiation warning sign. <laughs> Don't want it to do that. It's supposed to be a flower, not a warning. Now, there are some flowers that are poisonous. And the fairies who live in those flowers, I mean, you'd be surprised. You'd think that somebody, a, a fairy that would live in, say, a daisy would be nice and happy and friendly. And then somebody who would live in a flower like um, a foxglove, which is kind of poisonous to some, or uh, a Venus flytrap, which is not really a flower, but it's still a plant. That it, anyway, the fairies that live in those, you would think that the daisy would be the nice fairies, and the Venus flytrap fairies would not. But really, just like anybody else, there's good ones and bad ones. So... Don't judge a flower by its name or what it does in the human world because the fairies that live in those flowers are just as diverse as you and me. And considering, considering most of you are probably human, statistically speaking, you and I are completely diverse from each other because we're completely different species. But we're still friends, which I like that. That's fun. I like making friends. Ah! I like making friends. So I really hope that we can all be friends. Forever. I'm just putting sprinkles on this thing randomly, willy-nilly. So here's the flower that's now got sprinkles all over it. The icing dries fast. So now I've done one of each. So I've done one of each. I think that's good enough for this video because I am out of ideas of what to do, and I kind of want to save the sprinkles, these sprinkles, the good ones, and just eat them all on their own. Um, and maybe see if my sisters want to decorate some. So I guess that's going to be it for this video. Like I said, feel free to ask me any questions, and I will, I will answer those questions in the next video. I don't know what I'm going to do for the next video. I don't know how long it's going to be. But I like doing projects like these, little crafts, so, like decorating food. So I hope that everything goes well for you, and I will see you the next time I see you. Bye!